Okay, today we are going to talk about five signs your ex still cares about you. And I want you to stay tuned because we're also going to be talking about one thing that uh, people kind of focus on that isn't not really all that indicative of whether or not your ex still cares about you. And we're going to talk about why. But first, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get a great loving relationship where you can be loved for who you are without having to play mind games and without having to play hard to get. If you like these videos, if you like what we're doing here, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button or at least think really hard about it um, while you're down there. Um, but okay, let's go ahead and get into this. So um, does your ex still care? Um, you know, it's something that a lot of people wonder about. It's something that a lot of people are curious about. And we're going to get into some signs that your ex actually does still care about you. Okay, so sign number one is um, that they remember important events in your life, whether those be like your birthday or whether they be, uh, you know, certain specific things like, oh, you're taking a trip on this date or you have some sort of, you know, important work exam work uh, presentation or, or academic exam on this date or things like that. Um, this just shows that, that they're still thinking about you and that you're still in their mind and that they're still um, keeping sort of mental real estate for you um, in, in their mind. Uh, and that just shows that, that they still care about you. You know, they haven't just kind of like walled off their mind to you at this point and that they, they still are kind of emotionally attached. So that's definitely something to um, look out for to show that your ex still cares about you. Sign number two is that they take some sort of consideration for your feelings when they are talking about or bringing up or discussing sensitive or emotionally charged um, issues with you. Now, you know, there, there are probably things that the two of you need to talk about, whether it's things related to the breakup, whether it's resolving, you know, practical issues like, you know, moving out, getting your stuff back, kind of separating accounts and things like that that maybe the two of you shared um, they, they might kind of be a little bit more um, sensitive considerate they might say hey I understand that this might be a hard time for you about whatever um, so I you know let's go ahead and talk about it let's work through it um, as opposed to just kind of like brashly just trying to discuss the topic at hand or brashly just trying to get from point A to point B they're actually kind of considerate about your feelings they're considerate about how you might be taking it they're considerate about how you might feel and that just shows that they they value your emotional world they value how you feel they value the impact that they're having on you and they you know don't just want to kind of you know bulldoze over your feelings and uh, just treat them as if they're irrelevant um, so that definitely shows that your ex still cares about you um, sign number three that your ex still cares about you is that when the two of you are talking um, and you know obviously when the mood is good when there's a connection between the two of you and all of that stuff not just like out of nowhere I mean it could happen out of nowhere but but generally when um, the mood is good and the connection is strong they tend to you know reference um, inside jokes that the two of you had shared memories that the two of you had maybe they use nicknames that the two of you had for one another I mean you know how people in relationships they kind of build this private world amongst themselves with little jokes and memories and little kind of tangents that they go off of and little kind of role-playing things that they do and little cutesy things that are kind of obnoxious and nauseating to everyone else in the world. Um, if they use those sorts of things when they're interacting with you, especially when the connection is good, um, it just shows that they still value the connection between the two of you. They value the time that the two of you had together and that they're actually still kind of warm up in, in those sorts of ways towards you. And um, again, it just shows that you still occupy that mental real estate in their mind and that they still care about you. It, 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 I mean, it really just shows that they still care about you really. So um, if you're getting any of those nicknames, any of those um, warm memories from the past, any of those inside jokes or things like that, your ex still cares about you. Um, sign number four is that they talk about future events. They talk about things that the two of you might do in the future together. They talk about, you know, oh, you know, next summer, let's go ahead and do this. Or next time, 
this certain thing rolls around, we should go and do it. Or next time we get together, let's go do this instead. Or, you know, things like that. Again, this just shows that they are creating a vision for their future and that you hold a place in that vision in their future. And that they're um, kind of just reflecting that outward to the world, to you, to other people. Um, maybe they're not intentionally doing this. Um, I, I would actually strongly doubt that they would be intentionally doing this, but it just is showing you where they're at mentally. They're probably just kind of thinking out loud and it just is a reflection that yes, you hold space in their mental future. So definitely a sign that your ex still cares about you. Um, sign number five. Okay, this is where things are gonna start to get a little bit weird. So bear with me here, stay with me. Um, but sign number five that your ex still cares about you is that they may actually go quiet after the two of you break up or after you know, the two of you have some sort of meaningful interaction that's, you know, that it's not some sort of like big blowout bad interaction or something like that. So why would they go quiet? And how does this actually mean that they still care about you? And the, the way that it shows that they still care about you is because they don't want to hurt you. They, want to, they don't want to slow down what they might think of as your recovery from the breakup um, and they don't want to feel guilty about hurting you. Um, and in sort of a certain way, they, they, they do feel bad about hurting you. They do feel bad about breaking up with you. And they kind of just want to slink away under a rock and hide. Um, you know, we did make a video recently about your ex maybe feeling guilty about hurting you. And again, we'll go ahead and put a link up to that up there, a video card up there, and also down in the description. Um, if you want to learn more about um, the, the signs that your ex might feel guilty, but, you know, if your ex does go quiet, it shows that they could potentially still care about you. Again, you know, there are a lot of reasons why your ex might go quiet. Uh, that could be because they're, 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 you know, upset with you for something. It could be because um, of any other number of things. You know, maybe they heard about somewhere on YouTube that they should do no contact, and so they're doing it. Um, it could be anything. But it's not outside the realm of possibility that your ex is going quiet because they actually care about you and they're actually not trying to hold you back. They're actually not trying to slow down your recovery and they're trying to be considerate of your feelings. Maybe they even feel guilty thinking that they hurt you and they care about you. So they actually just want to kind of stay away from you because they think that if they still stay in contact with you, that they could continue to hurt you again and again and again. So kind of weird, kind of strange. Um, let's just kind of review these, then we'll get into the, uh, the weird thing here that, that a lot of people are paying attention to that they should not be paying attention to. So again, first, number one, they remember important events, birthdays, um, certain work presentations, certain exams, things like that. Number two, they take some consideration for your feelings while they're discussing or bringing up important or sensitive issues. Number three, they use inside jokes mention special memories, things like that, that the two of you had when the two of you were together. Number four, they talk about future events and things that the two of you may do together. It just shows that they're building a future with you in it. And again, number five is that they may even potentially be backing off if they feel some sort of sense of guilt or if they think that spending time together with you might actually hurt you. Now, the thing that a lot of people pay attention to that they probably shouldn't is whether or not their ex is initiating contact with them. People think that if my ex actually cared, they would text me. If my ex actually cared, they would call. If their ex, if their ex actually cared, they would suggest getting together. And again, this is not necessarily true. For a lot of those reasons that we just discussed, you know, they might not feel as if they um, are, are a good person for you to have in their life. They're afraid that they're gonna hurt you. But also, you know, your ex, might just think, you know, hey, I, who am I to ask you to, to hang out? Who am I to ask you to spend time with me? You know, I broke up with you. You know, I was there when it happened. I made you cry and all of that. Um, you know, who am I to ask you to do all of these sorts of things? And so they may actually not contact you. They may hold themselves back out of guilt, out of 
some sort of sense of um, you know doing the right thing or something like that. And so that's why I tell people not to pay attention to who's initiating contact, but simply to just focus on whether the interactions that you are having are actually bringing the two of you closer together or further away. So again, who's initiating contact, not important. What is important is whether the two of you are coming closer together or not. If you're able to get past any sense of guilt, any sense of um, anything that could be keeping the two of you apart and moving towards being more emotionally connected, that is more important than who is initiating contact. So don't use who is initiating contact as your metric to determine if your ex still cares or not. Anyway, hope this has helped you out. If you're looking for more signs that your ex likes you, wants you back, all that good stuff, check out this playlist up here. Um, otherwise, you might also like this video over here. Again, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below. And once again, this has been Clay, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.